I already know this is going to be our most popular LWC matchup yet. We got Small Town Tyler taking on a very special guest. Michael Backlund, right in, score! Coleman's in front, so it's Backlund, scores! Well, the rebound came, look, back in front, he scores! Backlund, 200 career goal, 11 seconds into the period. In the red corner, with a professional record of 0 0 and 0 at six foot one, 205 pounds, from Vesteros, Sweden, and from your Calgary Flames, it's Michael Backlund. Uh, Michael Backlund, welcome to the CJ92 studios. Yeah, thanks for having me. I First of all, I cannot believe that you accepted our offer to come in here and battle on our uh, CJ92 hallway carpet. I thought when I asked you, you were just going to laugh me out of the building, yet here you are competing in LWC 16. Yeah, no, I thought it was uh, <clears throat> sounded pretty fun. You know, I watched uh, some of the clips you sent me and uh, it looked great. So it's like, let's <clears throat> accept the challenge and uh, hope that come out of here injury free. Otherwise, we'll maybe cost you guys some money. Yeah, uh, JD, <laughs> it's funny. When, uh, when Michael was texting me, he's like, just so you know, uh, the Calgary Flames medical team has not cleared me to leg wrestle with my right leg okay. uh, due to injury. So we're going to have to do it with the left leg, which means the Calgary Flames cleared him to be here for this today. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, we're good. You guys are off the hook. <laughs> Have you leg wrestled before? Like, any prior experience? I know you're coming in with, with like, an unblemished record so far as far as professional matchups go, but we're finding this is a lot like mixed martial arts. It's becoming a global sport. Is this big in Sweden? I've never done this, uh, and I've never... I mean, I've heard of it before, but I've never really seen anyone do it in Sweden. So maybe after today, maybe I can grow this sport in Sweden. That would be awesome. And I I've been getting slack all week long for talking about the hockey player's legs. Now, I know a thing or two about hockey. I play beer league once a week on Thursdays, and I know hockey players have strong legs. I've been talking about your legs all week. <laughs> Are you confident in the left leg going up against the 250-pounder small-town Tyler? Yeah, I, I think I had the strength, but I don't know if I had the technique. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, we'll see the first round. Um, you know, I'm going to have to figure out the technique. And then hopefully after that, I can win two rounds by just pure strength. Well, let's bring in the former champion with a professional record of 13, 2, and 0 oh, at six foot one, 250 pounds in the black corner from Martinsville, Saskatchewan. The former champ has a name, and it's Small Town Tyler. Respectfully, STT, what are you wearing? Because this is not the usual fight kit. Well, no, I thought I'd thought I'd play it up a little bit, so I found the hockey gear and threw it on just to just to show them that I got some hockey legs too. Sure. You yeah. couldn't have kept it cool at all, eh? For for one Friday? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'd be cool enough, so I figured I'd just make a total fool of myself. I don't think I've seen a visor like that since Yarmor Yager, about 1994. Yeah, I don't know why I went with it, but I did. Are you able to look at Michael right now without blushing and smiling? <laughs> no. Because I, I noticed you haven't looked at him once look yet. Over there. <laughs> Uh, now, you got a 13-2 and record you're putting up against Michael Backlund. Another one of your heroes. I know Rene Paredes, uh, the Stamps, was, but you've also talked about Backlund being one of your heroes. You're not going to let him go off easy here, are you? I don't think so, no. He doesn't have a season coming up, so I'm not. Uh, and he got cleared by the Flames to be here, so I'm not worried about injuries. Now, the, the, the fan base is wondering. We've seen the power of your right leg. We haven't seen your other leg, which you'll be using in this matchup. How is that left leg feeling? What can you tell us about it? Yeah, I mean, the workouts are all the same, right leg, left leg, but the... The confidence in it maybe is a little bit lacking just because I'm not ambidextrous. So, well, I guess we'll see. Maybe I am. And, and Michael, if uh, you guys are down there on the uh, CGN2 carpet and he's holding your hand a little too tight, just let us know and we'll make sure that we, uh, we, we loosen that grip up, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it is a best two out of three bout. The object is to force your opponent's knee or thigh to touch the ground while keeping your own knee off the ground. You get fouls for striking, for biting, for scratching, or any other unsportsmanlike behavior. That is strictly prohibited because we want the Flames to succeed next season and make the postseason. We will not be enforced any rules on Michael Backlund. Small town Tyler, are you ready? His hands are so strong. Michael Backlund, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's get it on! And just like that, the competitors swinging their legs in the air. They get to the third, they lock, and... That looks like Michael Backlund defeated in round one. Small town Tyler takes an early one to nothing lead. All right, ready for round two. Let's get it on! All right, competitors are up. It's all on the line right here. And just like that, small town Tyler with his second take. And with that, a clean sweep of Michael Backlund. STT went up, back down, and then Michael flips on round two. 
And now the competitors making their way back into the studio. First, we'll welcome the challenger to the microphone right there. Michael Backlund, uh, hot off of uh, your first ever leg wrestle. How did it feel? Yeah, it's tough. Tough to lose. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, he was strong. I can't, I can't say much else. Now, is the leg feeling okay? I know we use your left <laughs> leg, not your dominant leg. We, we need to make sure our audience knows that you probably would have whooped him with your strong leg, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, but it wasn't, yeah, it, was, it wasn't ready for today's battle, so... But, you know, I lost to a better event, so I got to get some work in. Now, there's a lot of Calgary Flames with a lot of strong legs uh, on your squad. If you could pick one guy from the team that you think would excel in leg wrestling and be able to beat STT, who would you pick to come in here to beat him? Yeah, I think a fan favorite, Blake Coleman, would come in here and have a good chance. He has some big legs and he's uh, the thick thick boy so i think he had a good chance well i know he's back in texas for the off season you'll have to put a good word in about lwc when the fall <laughs> comes and you guys start back up and maybe we'll have a uh, u.s escort blake coleman into the studio uh one more time thank you for coming in today we really appreciate it yeah thanks for having me this is great okay now the former champ get over here small town tyler back in the wind column that must have felt pretty good right feels good maybe i should uh, do left legs more often that was nice well i saw in round two there michael had you lifted up i saw the ass off the ground and then your momentum coming back down uh, was what was able to flip Michael back in there. You weren't going to go easy on him? I thought you were. No. Um, I had to let him have it. Otherwise, I mean, I, there was a lot of people saying that if I won this match, I was the new captain of the Flames. But I think <laughs> I think the team's a lot better off with him as the captain, and I'll stick to beer league. I just got a DM from Harvey the Hound who says he wants a piece. Do you want a piece of him? I'll take anybody that challenges me.